is David Fishman with Lucid Imagination, and welcome to our webinar, Practical Search with Solar, Beyond Just Looking It Up. Today, we have three special guests with us, Beth Sadler and Naomi Duche of the Stanford University Library, and Tom Burton-West of the Happy Project at the University of Michigan. Our agenda, We'll begin with uh, uh, Beth, who will be talking about uh, uh, a question that uh, we often hear in the minds of solar users, what, the data is dirty? And she'll talk about clean data. Uh, not clean data is easy to search and browse. Uh, however, you probably don't have clean data. Next up, Naomi Duche. Uh, Naomi will talk about queries are not obvious. She'll uh, get into some detail about browsing ordered lists, about the Dismax parser, and when simple search is not enough. Finally, Tom Burton West will talk about big, bigger, and biggest, large scale issues, and phrase queries and common words, as well as OCR. We'll close out with a session of uh, Q&A, uh, leaving some time at the end of our webinar today. And uh, for those of you who uh, wish to know, uh, the slides will be posted and available after the presentation. Uh, you will also be able to download and view the live presentation within about 24 to 48 hours after this live broadcast is completed. Uh, a few words about our presenters. Uh, Beth Sadler of uh, Stanford University Library is a senior software engineer at uh, Stanford at the University Library. Uh, she's also co-founder of the Blacklight uh, Project uh, and was formerly chief architect of the online library environment at the University of Virginia. Uh, Naomi Duche is a senior software engineer also at Stanford. Uh, she's an expert in digital library research. Uh, she's formerly a member of the core infrastructure team at the National Science Digital Library. Uh, finally, Tom Burton West of the Happy Trust Project uh, is an information retrieval programmer in the University of Michigan's Digital Library Production Service. He works on the Happy Trust large scale search project and he blogs about it at www.happytrust.org. Blog. So I uh, hand you over to Beth, Naomi, and Duche for what I believe will be a very interesting webinar about practical search with solar. Beth? Hi, my name is Beth Sadler. Uh, thank you for that introduction, David. Um, so I've been uh, working with a few different institutions for the last um, gosh, six or seven years at this point. Uh, letting people or helping people index really large collections of data, uh, first with Lucene and uh, later on with Solar. And the number one issue that people are always shocked by is how dirty their data is because people think that they have clean data, uh, especially libraries think that. They are wrong. Um, and you probably are too if you think that. Uh, so before we start, I'm just going to um, very briefly touch on some things that we're not really going to cover. Um, so we're not going to cover a lot of the basics of how solar works. Uh, we're not really going to cover uh, the differences between an index and a database system. Um, but we have put together a, a, web, a website that uh, just covers a few of these things, and there's some great tutorials online. So if you hear terms being bandied around, and you don't aren't and you aren't familiar with them, uh, feel free to go check out that website and um, take a look at some more introductory materials and come back to it. Um, so I'm going to talk about data in libraries, but it's just as relevant. But the, but the information I'm going to be covering is relevant to other industries as well. Um, I've mostly worked with bibliographic materials, but also in the newspaper business and um, the journal publishing business. But I've also done some work with the pharmaceutical industry, and these, uh, these issues are common across the board. Um, very often you have, uh, you have very large quantities of data. You think that you have very strict metadata standards attached to it. Um, in fact, quite often you do have very strict metadata standards attached to it, but the problem is when you don't have an ongoing data audit and you don't have easy ways of uh, foregrounding the errors in your data, errors creep in. Um, 